What's that? A fang repellent. It looks like a troll necklace. It's for Sarah. I mean, for a pretty kind of troll. See, you stuff a bunch of crushed up bully blossoms in this part, and the fangs... Oh, and those mean fangs hate how sweet it smells, so they run off. Whoops. <sighs> I have an idea. Tanner! Oh, oh, hey, Tink. Sorry, I'm concentrating here. Great. Concentrate on this. I know, I know, I'll take it back. But what do you think is hidden there? Gold? Pirates? A, a band of fang fighting fang fighters? I think it's none of our business. Because it's not our map. Is that your book? What? I borrowed it from Mr. Teep. Just Teep. like I borrowed his map. It's not the same. Ah. I saw this same mark on an old barrel behind Ferenia's. You think it's a code? At the flower shop? Oh, and check this out. Be you friend or be you foe. Beware to all who follow. For in the catacombs below is hidden in the hollow a way that leads to pain and woe, sadness, grief, and sorrow. The hungry ghost of Brimney Stoop awaits your bones to swallow. <gasps> Shh. Okay, little brother. We'll head to town soon then. Found it. See, you can stuff the bully blossom petals in here. Where did you get this? I dug it up when I was planting fuzz bonnets. I think it's old. No, oh, you don't want to keep it? What I want is for you to marry Sarah Cobbler. This could help. <laughs> Lily, we're just friends. Like you and the Blagus boys are friends? Exactly. So, when are you going to make their necklaces? <laughs> So why can't we just borrow something from Oscar for a while longer? Uh, like, like a book, I mean. Because we're taking everything back today. Sure, but what if it was a book that could send you on an amazing adventure? Wouldn't you borrow that book for just one little extra day? Not if I didn't have permission. Uh, ah, but it could be just like living inside a mystery adventure story. Mm -hmm. Maybe we already are. What do you mean? The dragon song? A sea dragon spoke to us? Just to us? That has to mean something. I think the dragon song messed with your heads. I didn't hear anything. If you had, that's the mystery you'd want to solve. But your way of solving mysteries is to read sneezy old books instead of going on a real adventure. <gasps> Stay away from the edge. I was fine. This way. What is he doing? <laughs> Old Pete is so weird. Like, <laughs> hilarious weird. <laughs> he always makes me sad. Seriously, return these now, Tink. And please make sure it's all of them. Fine. Hey, what are you going to say to Sarah? Just, oh, I don't know. I'll say, I made this with bully blossoms to keep the fangs away, and then I thought about who might like it. And then I thought you might like it, because you know all about flowers, and you like flowers, and you don't like fangs, and I hope you like this necklace I made. Oh, does that sound silly? I don't know. Ask her. I think a fang repellent necklace is a great idea. Maybe Verinia should start selling them. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Janner. You're welcome. Uh, so, wanna go to Books and Crannies with us? Oh, I can't. I have to work. All right. Uh, well, uh, we have to go find Tink. I guess I'll see you next week. Uh, let's go, Lily. Oh, oh, hey, have you ever seen a silver moon bloom? Uh, what? The most giant flower in all of Scree. They're as big as... 
as Lily. And they only open once every seven years. You saw one? On the cliff wall. It was already glowing, so I think it's about to open. You want to meet on the bridge at dawn to see it? Uh, sure. We can meet whenever you want. Uh, sure. That, that sounds fine. Okay, well, I have to go water a bunch of purplies out back. Thanks for the fang repellent. I hope it works. See you in the morning.